See y'all, I told y'all that Fatima is the demon, not the baby, because apparently there is no baby. Fatima is the demon. Anyway, what is up, everybody? What is up? It is your girl, EJ, the TV Junkie, back with another quick thoughts over from. Now, y'all, on this particular episode, I mean, it wasn't a whole lot going on, but y'all know how from is. It's like this. It, it moves things along, but at the same time, it feels like it's not moving fast enough. I get that, but I think it's going at the perfect pacing. I'm enjoying it so far. Let me know what you guys are enjoying most about this season so far. Now, some of my thoughts on this particular episode some of the things that stood out of course is going to be the fact that Fatima is not pregnant y'all like they couldn't find a baby in there so what do y'all think it is I mean is Fatima being haunted by something is she like being possessed or something by you know what I'm saying because I mean there is no baby why is she eating dead things it has to be because she possessed y'all Fatima is the demon. Now, we saw in that picture that Elgin had took of Fatima that that same thing was standing over her. Now, I know it disappeared from the photo, but I am pretty sure that there is something attached to her, y'all. Like, I'm 100% sold on that. Another big moment of this episode was we see that Victor and his father, Henry, are going through the caves. They're going out there to find Jasper. I mean, this is what we were looking for. We wanted them to kind of move this storyline along where we got to go see what the heck Jasper knows now of course they get down here and I, if I'm Henry I'm like I know I'm trying to be strong for you son but damn it we need to get up out of here you know Henry was like let's turn around but Victor was uh, he was determined to go and get Jasper say so they definitely get down there and they're able to find what they're looking for but of course the monsters are there and they're always antagonizing every single time I mean she did say one thing like you just gonna keep coming down here one day you ain't gonna be able to leave out of this mug you just gonna keep doing it and so they skedaddle up out of there but they did get what they needed now another big moment in this particular episode for me was the fact that we get this conversation between Randall and Morel, right and Randall I don't know I feel like Randall is gonna come around a little bit but at the same time I feel like Randall is still going to be super angry when I say come around I feel like he's gonna open up to some people but I do feel like he's still gonna be super angry at Boyd which is gonna cause a problem it's gonna cause a rift somewhere I don't know. Or he could have a come to Jesus moment. We don't know. It's just so many different ways that this could go. But Morel did invite him. Mariel, I believe is how you say her name. Mariel did invite him into uh, the, uh, the, the medical place. I can't think of what they call it. But, you know, the place, the makeshift hospital. She invited him to live there because it has to be crazy sitting on that bus and seeing all the things. But let's be fair. Randall put himself in that position. He didn't have to do that. He could have stayed at the colony house with everybody else, but instead he was out there being a jerk. And that's how he ended back up at that bus. I mean, it is what it is. But it is like they said, though, he is going to be a walking reminder that the monsters really do exist. Not only at nighttime do they have to worry about this. Now they have a reminder every single time they look at his face because his face is jacked up, y'all. Like super jacked up. Now we're going to see that Jade is still trying to figure out the mystery. He has all these numbers. He's trying to put it together. We know that there are multiple trees like this with the bottles on it. And it turns out they have sem the same numbers in it as well. So he's trying to figure that out. I feel like him and Tabitha are continuing to get close. And with Jim and Tabitha having so many issues, I do feel like there is the possibility of these two maybe possibly... I don't know, y'all, getting a little closer, if you know what I mean. So another major moment was when we saw that Donna had this touching moment where she is basically putting up a little burial place for Dale. I mean, he's stuck in the pool for crying out loud, so it's not like we can bury him. But she did take the time to get all these rocks and cover him up. And it's like she was memorializing him. We all know that Dale is an absolute menace and he was just horrible and said whatever he wanted to say. And I have no doubt in my mind that he wouldn't have never come back 
bag for them if he did actually get out. But Donna still had a connection to him. She still loved and cared about him. And this is something that she wanted to do for him. So this was definitely a pretty touching moment. Do y'all really think that Tabitha is the chosen one? There's a moment where we see that she also, like Miranda, had seen some of these things long before she ever came to Fromville when Jade is showing the picture of the totem pole. She talks about the three rocks before he ever says anything. And she had these nightmares about it. She had these dreams before about it. So give me y'all best theories about what Tabitha's purpose is and what y'all think uh, is the overall significance of the rocks and the totem poles and things. Go ahead and drop down in the comments and let me know. Now y'all, we gotta spin the block back on Fatima and Ellis and Boyd. They end up telling Boyd about what's going on. I mean, they leave a little few things out. I feel like they don't really give like every single piece of detail. And that's because... Ellis doesn't have every single piece of detail either because nobody ever talked about that doggone blood, y'all. We only talked about them vegetables. But anywho, uh, they tell him about the situation and then he tells them that, you know, there is a baby monitor on the ambulance because that's what he came over to tell them the good news. Now, once we get over here and we start to look at this baby, y'all, there is no baby at all. Like, there's no baby. And turns out, like, nothing, nothing at all. Oh, y'all so what is going on with Fatima what is happening to her I'm telling y'all I think she is possessed I don't know when she got possessed I don't know how I don't know what it was but she is certainly possessed I don't really know when she came in contact with anything that could really have possessed her except for the fact of I mean Boyd was possessed with something or not possessed but he had those worms in him and then Ellis had the blood transfusion but I thought they got the worms out of him before the blood transfusion and she probably you know you know doing the nasty with Ellis I mean they are married after all but not that that really matters but I'm just saying like that's the only time that they've probably transferred any type of fluids I don't know y'all it's just so freaking weird I'm just trying to think of any time that Fox could have really just um came in contact with something that would I mean but I guess we in Fromville so I guess I really can't put too much thought into it anything can happen at this point so that is going to be the interesting part really trying to figure out what's going on with her why are you eating blood girl and why does Elgin have this picture of her and his little friend the one who keep asking him to help him helping him to help her she is actually standing behind Fatima. Now, I don't know if this is more so tied to him or is this also tied to Fatima, y'all? It is just a lot going on and so many strange things are happening in Fromville. I mean, it's a lot. But at the end of the day, it's definitely keeping us engaged. It's keeping us on our toes. Let me know what y'all best theories are. What do y'all think is really going on? What is happening with Fatima, y'all? Is she possessed by the demon? Should we be watching our back when it comes to Fatima? Is she gonna like turn on them or something at some point? Like, like, is she going to get fully possessed and then just go all crazy on them and then boom, everybody's going to be gone? Is this what happened in the past? Did somebody go crazy? Did somebody get infected and then unalived everybody else? Like, let me know what y'all think. Go ahead and get the conversation started down below. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to your girl channel. Turn on your notifications so that you do not miss out on any of my future quick thoughts over from... And guys, do not forget that every Monday and Tuesday, I go live to talk about from. Now, this Monday, I had to miss, but next Monday, Tamika's Den and I will be talking about from. We're going to be covering uh, this past episode as well as the episode that will drop on Sunday. And then, of course, on Tuesday, uh, myself, my sweet perspective, Kay, as well as Tyra will be talking about from as well. So definitely come out and join us. Get in the conversation. Make sure to come bring your theories and all the things and I will talk to you guys later peace